When the Aboyin State Governor, David Umahi, created the Ministry of Capital City Development, it was meant to be part of a demonstration of the present administration's commitment to save Abakaliki, the capital, from what other cities in Nigeria have experienced with regards to distortion of the original plans. Abakaliki today is replete with multiple inner city roads, constant street lights, and well organized traffic systems within its metropolis. The Commissioner, Ministry of Capital City Development, Oyekachi Wabui, disclosed that the government believes achieving the goal of maintaining Abakaliki's original master plan begins with the people's engagement. That is why we have to go this extra mile to engage the people. And the engagement should be continuous. Because that is the only way we can, uh, you know, uh, permanent this uh, uh, idea. Because anything short of that, the Abakaliki will not be like the old cities in the future. Like Port Harcourt, you, you agree with me that there are areas in Port Harcourt or Lagos that you cannot even have a street of a five meters a, a, a wideness. In the spirit of urban city development, some residents react to measures taken so far, expected to yield positive results and save the capital municipality from avoidable distortion. I'm happy for the for it is to make a state to be good. Uh, so that when we travel for another place, we will confirm that our own state still better more and more. With a population of less than a million inhabitants, the Aboyin State Government is maintaining its commitment to development that will be beneficial not just to the current residents, but future generations. <laughs>